Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Welfare Fish, and I am back, guys, here with another video, bringing you guys some content. Finally, we're back in the groove. We're back on the grind. Woo! Like, it feels good to say that. It feels good to be back. Uh, today's gameplay is on Destiny, a new Age of Triumph update. We're playing some Supremacy on Memento with the new Year 3 Necrochasm, which I just acquired last night. You guys can see the perks there. It's got Accurize Ballistics, Zen Moment, Fitted Stock, and the special perk. And it's also got uh, Crusader, I believe it is, is like the uh, like extra one it already has unlocked. And for some reason, the uh, the good old ornament wouldn't load so uh you guys can't see the cool blue look that it has here in uh year three with its new ornament making it look all special now let me tell you i think i had the hardest run like the most t okay not hardest the most time consuming run on crota's end last night trying to get this necrochasm because to get the necrochasm you have to kill crota i'll explain that here in a minute in case you guys want to know the information um, but it was the longest, most tedious run of Crota's End I've ever had to do ever in the history of ever. Like it, it was, ah, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I, I, I don't, it was just that long and tedious and jeez. Whoa. I, I just, I never want it to happen again. Oh man. Look at looking back on this right right before I get into anything more looking back on the supremacy game and remembering which game it was The amount of head glitching people in this game made me want to throw my controller But that's a story for another time and that's that, that not a story for another time That's just that's just a piece of information about this game. We ended up losing and I, I blame it on head glitching people with icebreakers and and hand cannons and just people who kind of outplayed me in a bunch because I wasn't used to using the necrochasm But either way that's that's beside the point that's that's beside the point but either way, it took a really long, really long run on Crota's end to get this, just because people I was doing if we didn't couldn't really connect that well. I got melted by a palindrome. Moving on. Uh, okay, so if you guys are curious, the way you get the Necrochasm, first you gotta start with the Husk of the Pit. The way you get the Husk of the Pit is by the way the probably the best way to do it is by killing Hive Ogres, not hollowed ones, not anything, just regular Hive Ogres. The best way to farm this, if you want to farm for it. Go to the Shrine of Oryx mission on the moon and set it on its lowest difficulty, which it should be anyway. And lo go towards around the very end when you're around the shrine and there's an ogre that spawns. You can kill that ogre, try to kill him, see if you get the drop, and if you don't get it, go ahead and just jump off the map. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what you do there. And once, once you get the Husk of the Pit drop, you uh, um, Once you get... I can't speak today, guys. I apologize. Once you get the Husk of the Pit drop, you have to then either kill thrall wizards or knights and you have to kill a certain amount of those and you get the like uh cannibal like the cannibalism node to like be ready to unlock you unlock it it turns into the edion ally or the edion ally or whatever and you have to go to, then you go to the speaker he gives you some, some modes of light you level up the uh edion ally all the way then you go to eris and eris is like yo you gotta do some things for me once you talk to eris you have to go and kill omnigal then you have to do the beginning part of Crota's End and the end part of Crota's End. So you have to kill Crota, kill Omnigal, and traverse the Abyss. Those are like the three steps. Once you do that, you go back to Eris, and Eris is like, Oh, hey, look, here's a here's a shiny green orb. And you use it to level up and get the Necrochasm. Like, uh, upgrade it and get the Necrochasm. And that's how you get the Necrochasm. Necrochasm, Necrochasm, Necrochasm. Um, all in all, the Necrochasm is a pretty fun gun after getting it. Like, you won't be disappointed if you grind, if you go for it. Because it's not a hard quest either. So if you go ahead and get the get the gun, you're not going to be disappointed by it. Because um, first off, they buffed auto rifles in the latest update, uh, like, patch. And then as well as they changed the Cursed Thrall explosion at the end. So it no longer requires, requires critical kills. It just requires any kill and it'll explode. One thing with PvP is it can be kind of delayed. Like, if you're shooting into a group and you kill someone... Like, it might not go off right away, because, like, it triggers one, but it like, doesn't know when it's going to go off. Like, and so, and that part of that could just be, like, um, you know, like, game lag, stuff like that. But that's the one thing I've noticed, at least PvP-wise, is, like, the Cursed Thrall explosion doesn't always go off right away. So that's the one thing that I've noticed. But besides that, it's a pretty strong gun. Like, if you like, uh, Doctrine Archetypes or, like, Soul Stealer's Claw, stuff like that, like, high fire rate, you're definitely going to enjoy this. I believe it hits like 12 to the body, as you guys just saw, and I think 16 to the head, from what I've seen, 16, 15 to the head. So, it, it works pretty well in that regards. I think this is where I whiffed the super. I think so. 
hit because I jump up and I'm like, oh, hey, look. And then I had turned my stick and it went off. I was really sad. Oh, but yeah. I mean, I'm not too good at the Necrochasm just because I wasn't used to the recoil pattern of using high rate of fire autos. But if you like that, if you like high rate of fire autos, you're going to like the Necrochasm. And it's definitely worth like that exotic slot, you know, using it. Along with that, in the raid, I also got the Adept Word of Crota and the uh, Oversoul Edict. So if you guys want to see gameplay of that, just let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, but like I said, it's great to be back and recording. Like I, I plan on having a more consistent schedule of like what and I say, and I say schedule, but more consistent uploads of just like one to two videos a week. I can't believe we knocked that crest off the edge, Jesus. Uh, but like one to two videos a week, and so that way I'll probably have like if I do only do one a week, it'll be during the weekends, and if I do two, it'll be one during the weekdays, one during the weekends, and that way we'll kind of keep the content going, keep you guys, um, you know, kind of flowing with things to watch as it comes to the videos. Because, um, like, you know, that's just what I want to do. I want to make sure you guys have good content to watch. Because, like, the last thing I uploaded was, like, that Titanfall 2, like, mini montage that I did. Which I thoroughly enjoyed, like, editing through and stuff. I mean, my editing on it wasn't the best, so that's something, I, you know, I can improve upon. But, uh, I just enjoy putting those clips together and playing that, like, Titanfall that weekend. Like, playing Titanfall that weekend and getting all those clips. Because it was fun. Uh, just kind of different game, different pace. But now that Destiny has this new update, I plan on doing a bunch of Destiny stuff as well. PvP, PvE. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for things you want me to do game-wise, or like gameplay-wise, just let me know in the comment section below, or, you know, just, just, uh, if you don't have any ideas, just, you know, like the video, you know, let me know that you're enjoying the content that I'm making, or dislike the video if you don't like the content I'm making, I mean, hey, it's, it's, it's up to you, it's your choice, you know, I can't believe I got stuck here, I heard it hit me, and I was so sad, because I was gonna hit that rocket, and there was at least two people, if, like, at least two, maybe one, but either way, there was a person there I could've killed off that rocket, but either way, moving on. But well, like I said, if you guys have any ideas, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll I'll try and do them. You know, it, it should be fun. Um, Cause like I'll do some Destiny, Overwatch, you know, whatever. Um, but another thing too is there's another new streaming platform that's come out recently with the uh, well, it's, it's kind of been brought into like a new light with the uh, new Xbox like platform update, and it's called Beam, and basically it runs through Xbox because it's a Microsoft owned thing. Ugh, excuse me, my like nose is freaking out right now. <coughs> Alright, so, it's like, like I was saying, it's like an Xbox-owned thing, and basically the way it works is it's more interactive with viewers, because the stream delay is less, and that way you can, you can actually interact with your viewers, which isn't hard when there's not a lot of, like, when there's a few of them, but once there's a lot of them, it's really hard to interact with everybody, so it kind of, like, keeps the chat rolling, and, like, it's more interactive with the streamer to his viewers. And, but the thing is, it's less well-known, so I'm going to be messing around with it a bit, I think. We'll see what happens. And then I'm still going to be messing around on Twitch here and there. But the issue with Twitch is it has a larger stream delay if you're not running, like, an actual streaming setup. And you're just using it, like, on Xbox or something, and it has, like, a 30-second stream delay. And it's also kind of hard to interact with your viewers, then, that are watching, because you can't... Like, everything that they're seeing is 30 seconds, so it's, like, any comments they make are kind of, like, you know, lag behind. So it's really hard to interact with your viewers that way as well. Can't believe that guy was sitting in that corner. It annoys me to no end. Like, buddy, buddy, why? Why? You're level like 400 warlock. Your luck looks super dope. Why? Why? Also, I apologize for any like weird slurp, like any noises, because I'm kind of sick, and so I apologize. Oh, I hate being dumb by a speaker. Um, so much. There's so much going on in my head right now, so I'm sorry if this video is kind of jumbled. I'm just kind of all over the place in my thoughts because I really just want to make a video and something that feels good, knowing that I'll be making like more video content for you guys uh, in the coming days and coming weeks and stuff. So the episode schedule should be around kind of consistent that way. I should be doing a bit more streams on Twitch. Maybe checking out this beam. I'll let you guys know by uploading, you know, maybe like little 30 second clips saying, hey, look, I'm live on like certain platforms when I stream, which will most likely be during the weekend, though. Um, so that's just to let you guys know that. And uh, I, give, I got that double, but I don't know how I got that double. And then I whiffed the triple either way. Uh, but I'll, either way, I'll just keep you guys updated on what happens on the channel. As always, uh, you know, check out Destiny if you're in. If you know, if you were a Destiny player and you haven't been checking it out recently due to, like, I don't know, just due to like uh, stuff and due to like the balancing issues. But I definitely check it out. I think everything's in a good place right now to kind of be equally balanced and equally as fun. And it's just a better game all around, I think. Now, especially with the old PVE content, if you were a fan of like Vault of Glass and Curtis End, I think definitely now's the time to get back into it and just enjoy it. Uh, either way, I'll, I've been Welfare Fish. I'll talk to you guys all next time. Take care.